So draw Muhammad Day has been and gone and what can we say has been the result? Now there are a number of people who have already claimed the victory and um, if you look at them you might wonder you know what they m may have been smoking because in all seriousness how can you call it a victory for freedom of speech if a country like Pakistan has censored the internet even more? But let's forget about that for a second. Let's just leave that to the side. And let's see what has been happening over the last couple of weeks leading up to Draw Muhammad Day. And I don't know what it's been like for you guys, but it's definitely been very interesting for me. Now, you've seen the videos that I've posted on the subject and how out outspoken I've been about the whole confrontational approach and so on. And something very interesting has come out of that for me. I have come to meet on YouTube through PMs, comments and whatnot, a number of people and a number of Muslims, some of whom I am now proud to call my friends here on this side. And I know, I am pretty sure just from seeing the sort of videos that other people have, have posted and the sort of interaction I've observed between people, that something similar seems to have happened to a number of people. So ultimately what seems to have happened is that this somehow has improved the dialogue between those of us who, who would like to you know, take a less confrontational approach, and which does not mean, by the way, compromising your principles, but that's a different story altogether, I won't go into that. Those who don't want to take a confrontational approach, and, you know, the Muslims on the other hand who like to engage in dialogue. And that's a great thing. In actual fact, I can't think of a better victory for freedom of speech than people more freely entering into dialogue with each other. Of course there will always be some people who want to play the polarizing card, who want to play the you know the fanatic card, the confrontational card. I think we're going to have to learn to accept that that will always be the case and that that's not really going to change. But we might just leave those people to stew in their own juices. Because they are not speaking for us, they are not speaking for me definitely, and they are getting in the way of dialogue. And like I said, dialogue seems to have improved to a great extent on this side no matter what you might think of the drama surrounding especially Thunderfoot, dialogue has in fact improved on this side. So has Muhammad Day been a victory? I think it has.